Hello there and welcome to Yoga with Andrea's practice for myofascial release or myofacial release. So before we get into the practice today, what exactly is fascia? Well, fascia is connective tissue that acts as a thick sheath surrounding the muscles in the body. Just like muscles, it can get tight, but unlike muscles, stretching has little effect in releasing tightness. So the only way to get a complete stretch and release for your fascia is to do some myofascial release. So in this self-massage, this yoga sequence, that is exactly what we're going to be doing today. So this is a myofascial release for the lower body. Please join me for part two of this um, in a separate tutorial, separate video. And links for this second video will be in the comments section below this one. So how does self-myofascial release or SMR help us? So self-myofascial release treats skeletal muscle immobility and pain by relaxing contracted muscles, improving blood and lymphatic circulation and stimulating the stretch reflex in muscles. So myofascial release works on trigger points in the body. So trigger points are specific spots in the muscle often referred to as knots where the muscle fibers are overactive and cannot relax. So a trigger point can exist in one of two states. First as an active one and these are actively painful causing you to feel pain on the trigger point or around it. Secondly as a latent trigger point. These are typically pain free unless poked or touched. Both of these states of trigger pain can cause bigger issues, including weakness, sending pain to other areas of the body that might seem completely unrelated. Trigger points are known to cause all kinds of pains, including joint pain. Research on the benefits of fascial release is still emerging. However, it is believed that even five minutes of self myofascial release a day will be a great complement to your yoga practice. It can be squeezed into the time between rolling out your mat and the start of a class. One of the best places to begin is your lower body. Your feet, your legs, your hips are a great place to target for fascial release because gentle pressure here, an area compressed for much of the day due to sitting often, can renew blood flow to restricted areas, improving circulation and muscular health. For this practice you're going to need a couple of tennis balls and a couple of bricks and areas that we're going to use and work and stretch and release through this practice today will include the soleus, so the point between the Achilles tendon and the um, back of the knees. We're going to be releasing the medial soleus, so just on the inside of the shins, working our way up towards the tibialis anterior, the quadriceps, the vastus medialis and sartorius, so located on the inner thigh because tightness in these muscles can lead to knee pain and weakness and of course the IT band, so the ilial tibial band, a fascia outside of the thigh. So grab yourself your props and get yourselves ready for a lower body myofascial release. Let's get started.